on the eleventh of june two thousand nine the impossible became possible the world came to the startling realization that we were now facing a new enemy that recognized no borders and was indiscriminate in choosing its victims countries around the world quickly mobilized to protect their citizens by quarantining those with flu like symptoms in china an entire hotel in hong kong was sealed off in australia a cruise ship with over two thousand passengers was ordered to stay at sea and in cairo after two students were diagnosed with the h1n1 swine flu virus the american university was guarded by police wearing face masks to ensure no one could get in or out by july of two thousand nine the world health organization stopped counting the number of cases admitting they could only estimate the spread of the unstoppable virus and while the pandemic was still in its early stages globally they now estimate over two billion people will become infected u.s health officials believe the worst may still be ahead of us and shushat of the cdc pointed to the nineteen eighteen flu epidemic that killed up to one hundred million people that like the swine flu was preceded by a mild wave of cases in the spring only to be followed by more devastating waves in later seasons most disturbing is the potential for the h1n1 swine flu virus to mutate and become more virulent and because h1n1 is easily transmissible from person to person the opportunity for the h1n1 virus to mix with another equally unstable and deadlier virus could be devastating according to guan yi a leading virologist from the university of hong kong the virus he is most worried about is h5n1 more commonly known as the bird flu virus the deadliest influenza virus known to man killing roughly sixty percent of the humans infected since it first emerged in asia in two thousand three a leading expert declared in the scientific journal american scientist the world is teetering on the edge of a pandemic that could kill a large fraction of the human population to defend yourself against these powerful infectious agents you need equally powerful immune boosting protection you need BIOS Life Manos and its proprietary, patented, state-of-the-art aloe vera science. BIOS Life Manos contains an ultra-refined blend of long-chain polysaccharides from aloe, which increases the body's awareness of infections by stimulating the production of cytokines. Cytokines, messengers in the immune system, then help stimulate immune cells specifically designed to eliminate the various viruses, bacteria, and other harmful infectious agents. In addition, BIOS Life Manos aids our immune system by boosting the bioavailability of vitamins and nutrients, in some cases by over 300%. Free radicals are atoms or molecules that have a single unpaired electron in their outer shell. In order to stabilize themselves, these highly reactive molecules strip electrons from other molecules within our cells, damaging cell walls, DNA, and other important cellular machinery in the process. This can lead to an increase in health risks, and in some cases, even cell mutation. In fact, the effects of aging are often ascribed to damage caused by free radicals. BiosLife Manos is a free radical scavenger that naturally reduces the number of free radicals in our bodies, and thus decreases, and in some situations, even reverses the damage free radicals can have on our bodies. Not only does BIOS Life Manos utilization of aloe's active agents aid in improving our health from the inside, but its anti-aging qualities can even improve our healthy and attractive appearance on the outside. In the war against infectious agents, your best defense is an even better offense. BIOS Life Manos.